What's going on YouTube? So as you know, recently Kia has been completely revamping their lineup, replacing many of their older, more boring models with new and exciting products. The Carnival is one of those vehicles, first making its debut last year and now getting some mild but appreciated upgrades for the 2023 model year. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the review, see what's new for 2023, and see if this is the best minivan money can buy. Alrighty guys, so I'm here by myself today since Mason is on vacation. So I'm just gonna, you know, kind of go through this model, um, more of a first person perspective here and take a look at this 2023 Kia Carnival. We'll see what's new and everything all about that. Um, of course, with the exterior design, this just came out last year. So you're not gonna see anything new in terms of this area. So up in the front, We've got that signature Tiger nose grill. Of course, this is the latest evolution for the Kia lineup. As you can tell, um, a nice look to it. We do have the smoked chrome that's gonna come on the SX as well as the SX Prestige. And then you've got the regular chrome that surrounds all the rest of it and your new Kia logo up there at the very top. But of course, uh, the most interesting element of the front design to me is the uh, look of the headlight unit. So as you can see, very, very interesting design. We've got our LED uh, low beam right through there, our LED high beam over there. Then you've got this daytime running light which cuts all around through there, goes into the grill, and then you've got your LED, or your incandescent turn signal right there. Uh, these are gonna be reflector LEDs on all the trim levels except for the SX Prestige. That's where you'll get the uh, projector style. And then as we go down to the lower area, this is where you'll find your LED fog lamps. These are gonna come on both the SX and the SX Prestige and you do have the nice chrome accents down there at the bottom. And I think all this looks particularly nice um, when, when contrasted with this uh, Aurora black color that this model has. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at our wheel options. So you start out with a 17 inch alloy, but that's only on the base model. Everything else will come with 19 inch alloys. Here with the SX as well as the SX Prestige, we have the really nice looking 19 inch gloss black alloys. Um, I do like this design on board. You do contrast alloys if you prefer those on the EX trim level. And then moving on up here to our mirrors, as you can see, we do have the LED turn signal indicator. You are going to have standard heating as well as a standard blind spot monitoring system. If you want power folding, that's going to require going up to at least the EX trim level or above. But let's pull on back here and take a look at our side. Uh, this is going to be 203 inches long, so this is obviously quite a lengthy vehicle. Um, and in terms of the overall design, as you can probably tell, very boxy look to it. That's kind of one of the things that makes the Carnival stand out from other minivans, is that instead of trying to be real sleek, they wanted this to look more like an SUV, so they made it pretty boxy um, in the overall design. If you look up there at the top, the SX and the SX Prestige are going to come with the chrome finished uh, roof rails there as well as the chrome accent down there at the bottom and then of course this is one of our more unique elements is this cool textured piece that runs down through here that's going to be on all of the models now as we move our way around to the back design again you've got that more traditional suv like appearance since it's kind of squared off looking so the tail lights kind of mimic the design of the headlights and the way that they bend um, as you can tell uh, we, it is the full length obviously but most of the elements here are going to be incandescent unless you go for the SX Prestige. That's where you'll get the full LED design all across the back. As we go down to the bottom area though, this is where you'll find your turn signals down here. Um, you'll also see a nice silver accent. No exposed exhaust outlets, of course. And then as far as your towing is concerned, you can tow up to a maximum of 3,500 pounds. Now as I back up here, let's talk about our warranty and safety system information. So of course with the warranty, you already know Kia offers uh, basically best in the industry warranty. Five year, 60,000 mile basic, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain. Um, they do not have complimentary maintenance, which is something Hyundai is now offering. So maybe they'll add that in the future. 
Um, in terms of our safety systems, you have the DriveWise Safety Suite. And for a minivan, safety is very important. So we've got standard forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane keeping assist, as well as auto high beam headlights. If you want adaptive cruise control, you gotta step up to the EX trim level, and they'll also give you rear auto braking if you go for the SX trim level, which is what we have today. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up everything I wanna talk about here with the exterior. But now let's go ahead and get to the inside. That's where you're actually gonna see some 2023 changes. So as I walk up to the Carnival, you will be greeted with a, a very similar Kia key fob to the rest of the lineup, except it is a little bit wider. Um, and you do, of course, have your buttons to open the uh, side doors. And you've got your other buttons on the side there. Um, as far as smart entry and remote start, both of those features are going to be standard equipment. And as you walk up to the vehicle, the mirrors will go ahead and fold out. Now there is not a sensor behind the handle, so just press the button to unlock. And taking a look inside the cabin there, you're gonna notice maybe some changes, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and get inside. Now before I get into what's new inside of this cabin, let's first talk about our interior color and material choices as always. So just the base LX is gonna come with cloth seating. However, when you go up to the LXS, which is the one with the seating package, the EX or the SX, that's where you're gonna get this leatherette seating. And then the very top end, Prestige, will come with the real leather seating. Now in terms of this uh, seat itself, as you can see, very nice looking, um, very realistic feeling leatherette. I love the perforation that runs down the middle there. We've got a lot of stitching details. We also have the color contrast accents on this one here, which is called Tuscan Umber. Uh, you can also get a gray color option with this trim level as well. Now as I come over here to our seat, your SX and your SX Prestige models are gonna come with a 12-way power adjusting seat with four-way lumbar support. That goes down uh, to a 10-way power seat on your LXS and your EX trim levels. And we'll go ahead and look around at the cabin materials because that of course is a big deal about this Kia Carnival was just how much they moved the um, upscale from the previous Kia Sedona starting last year when this first came out. So we do have the leatherette that runs across the entire armrest portion. You have the piano black finish all through there. It is going to be a soft touch along the top, piano black trim through there. We've got our uh, two-person memory seating on the SX and SX Prestige. And as far as the windows, all four of them will be one-touch automatic. Now as we move on up here to our upper dashboard, all of this is finished in a padded plastic. We do have a stitching detail. And then you've got this very realistic faux wood trim here. Um, just like with other Kia products, it's got this kind of rough texture, which makes it seem quite realistic. This is gonna be included on the SX trim level. Some of the other trim levels will come with the faux aluminum instead. And then as we move down a little further, you're gonna encounter more piano black finish through here. Um, no padding along the center console though, but everything does fit together extremely well. Now start up, put your foot on the brake and press the standard button. Now, if you're familiar with the Carnival lineup, you're going to notice right away what is new here for 2023. That's the fact that here on the SX trim level, we now have the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster in addition to the other display, which is also 12.3 inches. Um, this is new this year to the SX trim level. Uh, previously, it was reserved for just the SX Prestige. And with that comes all the benefits that you, you know, expect to see from the digital gauge cluster, reconfigurability, so you can change the design when you go to the different drive modes. You have a lot more information in the middle there that you can cycle between. And you know, all, all in all, it's a very nice looking display. Otherwise, you're gonna have the smaller display which comes with the 4.2 inch multifunction display. The other big benefit of having this display is that the blind view camera system that has now moved down to this trim level as well. So it's on the SX and the SX Prestige. As we pull back to the steering wheel, you continue to find the latest Kia design 
design, it is going to be leather wrapped on all but the base model, and it will be manual adjusting on all of the trim levels. Heating will be included on the SX Prestige only. But let's go ahead and take a look at our interior storage. Now, if you remember from last year, um, of course, one of the big changes and differences of the Carnival versus some of its uh, minivan rivals is the fact that we have a very traditional looking SUV-like console instead of like the large holes and empty spaces that some of the other vans have. So if we take a look inside of our center console, though, we do have lots of storage still. So uh, inside of here, we've got a really nice deep storage area. Of course, nothing's official without our coupons, so let's slide those in. And as you can see, they fit no problem whatsoever. Now you've got another little storage shelf right there. You've got your two cup holders, a little spot for your cell phone, and another nice size bin right here in the front. Plus, if you have the EX trim level or above, that's going to give you this wireless phone charging pad with ventilation. And then you've got your three USB ports right there. Now pulling back to the shifter, the other traditional element is the fact that this is a traditional shifter. Nothing complicated here. You're just going to pull back your drive, bump to the left if you want to shift manually. There are no paddle shifters on the steering wheel. And then heading into reverse. This is where you're going to find a traditional backup camera or a 360 degree backup camera. This is going to start on the SX trim level. As you can see, you have both your um, overhead view as well as your rear traditional rear camera view and you can also switch between several different angles uh, by clicking those different buttons there. Front parking sensors are going to come on the EX trim level and above but you do have standard rear parking sensors on every trim level so that's a nice touch uh, for everybody that's you know trying to make sure they don't bump into anything with their kids on board. And then right behind the shifter you do have your electronic parking brake as well as your brake hold function. As we continue behind that, you do have your toggle for your three-stage heated seats. That's actually going to be included on all but the base model. The LXS will have that. And the seat ventilation is going to be included starting on this SX trim level. Then in terms of our broader climate controls, you do have manual climate on LX and LXS. Otherwise, you're going to have this three-zone automatic climate control setup. As you can see, we do have some nice physical toggles to adjust the temperature. And then you've got some very responsive touch capacitive controls that are inside of this piano black finish through here. If you want to adjust the rear climate, you can just press that button right there. When you do that, you can also get some more advanced settings up here in the main part of the display and you can lock out your kids or whatever from making adjustments in the back if they're doing something that's getting on your nerves. And then right above that, we have our audio controls. So on board with this model is the eight speaker sound system. Um, the LX is going to come with a six speaker sound system and then the SX Prestige is the only one that gets the 12 speaker Bose sound system. But let's go ahead and give a sample to this eight speaker sound system. Yeah, so overall sound quality of this system is quite nice. Um, you know, it fills up the cabin pretty nicely. Uh, of course, if you're a big audiophile, you might want to go ahead and move up that last rung and get that branded sound system, though. Alrighty, and let's take a look here at our main display. So here we are with the 12.3 inch display I already mentioned earlier. Uh, this was already on the SX trim level, in case you're wondering. Um, Last year it did have the 12.3 inch main display, it just had the smaller gauge cluster. Um, actually all of the models except for the LX trim level are going to come with this large 12.3 inch display, so that's certainly a very nice touch to see on board. The LX is going to come with an 8 inch display and the critical difference um, I think that a lot of people are interested to know between that uh, 8 inch and the 12.3 inch is the fact the 8 inch one has wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. And if you go for this larger one, this is going to come with a wired version of both of those systems. Now, as I get a little closer here, you'll see that um, you've got a couple systems on board that start on the EX trim level and are van exclusive. So we do have the passenger view um, system here. So basically, this is a security camera for your kids, more or less. You can zoom in on them, really keep a close eye on what's going on in that second and third row. 
make sure they don't get into any trouble. Now, moving up to the very top, you're going to notice a f couple features that are SX Prestige exclusive. So we do have the manual dimming mirror on this model still. Uh, if you want the home link remotes and the auto dimming, SX Prestige. And then up at the very top, we actually don't have any type of moonroof. Uh, that's because the dual panel setup, that's going to be reserved for the SX Prestige as well. All right, but let's go ahead and hop into the back seats, which of course on a minivan are just as important as the front, if not even more so. Of course, as you can see, we do have the power opening door. But let's get things started here by talking about our rear space. So as you can see, we've got quite a lot of space. It's gonna be 40.5 inches of rear leg room, 39.5 um, inches of rear headroom which is pretty nice, of course, for uh, this category of vehicle. As you can see, I'm behind my own seating position right now. I'm 5'8". I'm pretty much stretched all the way out. And the cool thing about it is the seats here do have quite a bit of adjustment. So you can see the track here. We can slide this all the way forward or all the way back. So you've got a lot of adjustment on board to meet whatever your needs are. And my feet can also slide underneath of the seats as well. Now, um, talking about the seating, this is called the flex um, sliding seating, um, obviously, because as you just saw, it does slide. And what's new about this this year is that it's um, now been rearranged a little bit. So on the top end SX Prestige, a lot of people um, wanted to have eight passenger seating. Um, that's what we have on this particular model um, with the fold down center console here. So you can fold this up. This makes for your additional seat. A lot of people wanted this on the top end model, so Kia has now made this standard on SX Prestige as well. If you want the previous VIP lounge seating, that is optional, so you can still get it. That's gonna get you all the super nice stuff, the heated, ventilated, power adjusting, and reclining seats. Um, additionally, new for 2023, the available rear entertainment system screens. Those are now available on this SX trim level as an option. Now, speaking of features, we do have plenty of them on board, as you would expect. So we've got our rear cup holders here. We've got our household outlet. You've got a 12-volt outlet, and you've got a bunch of storage down there in that little spot right there. Additionally, here on the passenger side, we can actually control this front seat from back here to give ourselves some more leg room. We also have a USB connection there in the back of both seat backs, as well as our map pockets. If we look up, we do have standard rear vents. You've got your assist grip. We've got some lighting back here. This is your uh, rear camera system, which I was showing you already. And you do also have your own controls over here to adjust the climate if you're setting on the right-hand side. And then turning over here to your window, you do have the rear window sunshade to keep that sun from coming in on you. And of course, you have a nicely finished uh, door trim here. But let's go ahead and hop into the third row next. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get inside this third row. All you got to do is pull that lever there. It's going to fold the seat down and slide it forward. So you have ample amount of space to get back here. Alrighty, and as I climb back here, wow, I have to say I'm immediately impressed by just how much space there is back here. Um, one of the biggest things that I'm noticing is the amount of thigh support so I'll see if I can get a good angle here but the seat itself is actually just about as high as the second row so I have full thigh support plenty of comfort on board um, of course like I said you can adjust how far up or back you want this seat in front of you so that's going to give you that availability to um, you know customize who gets more space in the third or the second row but as you can see even with this as far back as it can go we have plenty of space on board as well and we can also use this as our cup holders for the third row. In addition to our other cup holders over here, we also have a USB connection and we have third row sunshades as well. If you wanted to know about the actual dimensions themselves, officially 35.6 inches of legroom and 38.6 inches of headroom, which does place it slightly smaller than the Sienna or the Honda Odyssey, but still, like I said, very, very spacious. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and move into the cargo area where I think you'll be very impressed. EX and above do have a hands-free smart opening tailgate. 
and let's take a look inside here so um, as you can see right now I've got these seats kind of uh, changed up here so this is with the third row in place and then you've got this large bin that's going to run down here along the side this is what it's going to look like when you fold the seats and you make the floor um, flat now I'll show you what it's like to get them up all you got to do is grab onto that you're just going to basically pull up in one kind of swift motion here and then you can grab this dude here and it will all just kind of lock into place here when you let go. That's going to tell you uh, how much you can recline the seat. And as you can see, when you do that, you've just got a ton of space down through here. This goes, well, basically all the way down to the ground. Um, so you can stick all types of objects here and have plenty of cargo space, even with the third row in place. Now talking about the actual dimensions, you're looking at 40.2 cubic feet behind the third row, 86.9 cubic feet behind the second row, and with all your seats removed or folded, that's gonna be 145.1, which is a spectacular amount of storage space. Yeah, it's actually best in class, according to Kia. It is important to know, though, if you get those uh, fancy lounge seats on the SX Prestige, you will have a little bit less space overall because you can't actually remove those seats. Those are gonna be stationary in place. Now I've hopped into the passenger seat. Uh, we do have a power adjusting seat. This appears to be uh, eight ways power adjustment. There is no uh, lumbar support though. We come over here and we take a look in our glove box. As you can see, nicely sized. We've got a lot of different instruction manuals, things like that. And we still have place to stick plenty of our coupons right in there. As we go up here at the top, we do have a sun visor. It does extend outward. You also have the mirror built into it as well as the separated LED light. All right, guys, as you know, with the current condition of the auto industry, a lot of cars sell before we can even get our hands on them. Luckily, we were able to get our hands on this Carnival today, but it is already sold. So that does mean that I'm not going to take this particular one out for a drive. That being said, as you know, um, this Carnival just came out last year. It was completely new and nothing has changed mechanically. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut into the test drive from the 2022 model so you guys can get a full picture of what it's like behind the wheel. <laughs> not bad at all. Not bad, not bad at all, yeah. <laughs> so uh, what we have on board is a traditional powertrain. So we've got a three and a half liter V6 engine, 290 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque, which is actually class leading as far as your standard engine on a minivan by a little bit. Um, I believe the Odyssey is pretty similar, but. It yeah. definitely has some pep It really pulls it, nicely. Yeah. You can tell that this is definitely class leading power. Now there are no other options as far as powertrains, so as you may know, like Pacific offers a plug-in hybrid, the Sienna is only hybrid now. There's no alternative powertrains at this time, um, so this is just going to be V6 only. Yeah. It has a nice growl to it as yeah. well. But you know, once we're up to speed here, this is what the minivan is designed for from you know start to finish is just to be comfortable for you and all of your family members and I'm very very impressed I expected to be coddled with a lot of you know comfort in a minivan and I, I still think this does even better than what I had expected I mean it really is extremely extremely comfortable we had some bumps back there it soaked them up like nobody's business um, and it's just really quiet. So if we'll speed up to 55 miles an hour, I'll get a sound level uh, sample here. Okay. And we're gonna be sitting at 58.1 decibels. That's a really good rating. It is kind of windy outside as well today. So um, that's very quiet for your family. And like you were saying with the ride going along with that, these seats are really nice as yeah. well. Yeah. 
So as far as the transmission is concerned, we have an eight-speed automatic. Um, I'm really impressed by this transmission. Uh, you, many vans, you know, they can kind of sometimes have, or the transmission will be tuned to be, you know, kind of sluggish. This one here is really nice and responsive when you put your foot down. Um, also, the shifting is really imperceptible in the background when you're just kind of cruising around town. So that's a thumbs up from me. Um, as far as putting power to the ground, it's going to be front wheel drive only. So there's not an all wheel drive option, um, which some of the rivals do offer. Yeah. But you're not going to get a CVT like you would in the Sienna. So kind of pros and cons there. Now, speaking of the Sienna, you know that that vehicle's strong suit is its fuel economy. That's, of course, why they went for that full hybrid powertrain. Um, and as you would expect, this V6 is not going to be, like, the best fuel economy in this segment. Um, it's going to be rated at 19, 26, 22, which that's not bad at all for a V6-powered option. That's right on par with that of, like, the Honda Odyssey. But it is going to be, of course, less than the Toyota Sienna. And now that you guys have seen what it's like behind the wheel of the all-new Carnival, let's go ahead and talk about the 2023 pricing, which of course has been updated slightly um, with the new options and everything for this year. So what you'll be looking at in terms of your MSRP for front-wheel drive, which is the only way you can get the Carnival, it's going to be $32,600 for the LX. The EX is going to be $38,100. The SX, which is what we have today, will start at 41300 and then your SX Prestige will start at 45700 Now, in terms of what today's specific example is going to cost, uh, we do have a few options. It's going to be 495 for the Aurora Black Paint. We do also have the carpeted floor mats as well as the auto dimming mirror that I mentioned earlier. And that together with the $1,300 destination is going to take you to a total of $43,680 which is still a pretty good price um, for a nearly fully loaded minivan since a lot of the competition is now touching into the $50,000 range. Well guys, thanks so much for joining us for this in-depth review of the 2023 Kia Carnival. We hope you found this video to be helpful or useful in your purchasing decisions or at least entertaining. And if any of those things apply to you, make sure you go ahead and go down below and hit that subscribe button as well as that thumbs up to tell us that you appreciate the content. We appreciate your viewership and we'd also appreciate if you would go ahead and go to TikTok and Instagram and follow us in both of those locations as well if you want to see shorter form content and keep up with what we do in the day to day. Anyways, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.